guys so um, I'm sorry for the background on this but I'm going to film this on my husband's uh, massa massage table because I just don't have anywhere else to film right now so uh, this is the only background that I could think of so I'm sorry about that but I just wanted to show you this so this is a diamond painting I was talking about I actually asked you a question if you wanted me to start this instead of the couple the romantic couple that I was doing by the way this is a diamond painting and I have received my son's portrait so that's something so exciting to me and I really really wanted to start this so I really wanted you to choose it and like I said, I asked you guys if you wanted to see this start instead of the other one. Like, I'll just put that one on hold or I'll just take it to my mom's house. Maybe she will keep, um, you know, doing that progress, process, whatever you want to call it. But for now, um, I'm just, I just really want to start this one because, well, again, it's my baby's portrait and it's huge. This is... 100 centimeters high and 80 centimeters wide so i cannot wait to see what's inside i haven't opened it yet but i am going to do this right now I'm going to take out all the materials and i'm going to show that to you and the organization for this will be a couple of seconds later after i'll just go through the materials because i really want to organize that um, we'll see how i'm not really sure yet maybe i will organize it into my uh, suitcase the yellow one which i am uh, using to do my romantic capel because I do have extra jars in there that are empty so maybe I'll use that one we'll see uh, haven't decided yet but I really want to open and see what's inside all right so um, I took out the little key with the paper with the <laughs> with the picture of my little one it's kind of this is what is supposed to happen. So I love this picture. He's so cute and he this. This is actually my phone. <laughs> um, you know, it's like on my phone. Uh, what do you call that? Wallpaper. <laughs> so the size is 80 over 100 centimeters. It's a large, large progress process. Not a progress, it's a process. Full square drill. It's kind of crooked, the, the whole paper, but it was kind of mushed inside it has 44 colors there you go a lot of colors beautiful beautiful colors i am really nervous about the skin it seems like there is a good selection of colors for the skin i'm hoping that it will look good because it's a very large project all you need to know about diamond paintings if you are choosing a diamond painting and you wish for it to look you know good not like pixelated because these are basically pixels you all you need to do is just um you need to um <laughs> i'm just trying to concentrate because i'm looking at his little face uh you need to order a larger diamond painting if you're a newbie into diamond painting just take a smaller one just to try how it is to you know put down the diamonds to like if your eyes are capable of seeing what they're supposed to be seeing because the diamonds are really really small they are two and a half millimeters uh, size like square but uh, if you are able to do that if it interests you if you are choosing a project to do choose a large one I always choose a large project because uh, well, you cannot see the pixels as much if you go a little bit further from the painting the the whole photo the painting is becoming one whole image if you choose a smaller um, project you will be able to see the pixels and it won't look as good so they always recommend the bigger the picture the bigger the size the better the quality of the you know finished result so this is what i chose i think it's really really big actually because the size of my cat one uh is 80 over not 80 i'm sorry was like 55 over 90 if i'm not mistaken and this one is 80 over 100 so it's a large large project there you go 
the whole thing is over here and there it goes right up there i cannot even reach the end you now with my hands stretched so it's a really large project but um that's fine because you know i want him to be big and beautiful <laughs> like he is right now so i will um i'll be starting this as soon as i can but we have here is a little tutorial what to do how to use like number one let's see if we'll be able to show you it shows you how to understand the key what to do with the little glue thingy how to pick up the diamonds how to put them down you can use a twizzer and you can just put your hand or use something heavy to put on top of it if you want to squeeze them down so they won't fall out eventually so that is the little tutorial they give you now our key is built of number you know the number of color the sign the little symbol that you use these are the same symbols basically that you, that you will see in diamond paintings uh now the number of the color which are basically the same numbers as dmc thread so these are the same numbers uh you have the amount of packs of the diamonds um there they are they're in these little packs i don't really like these because it takes a while to open each and every one of them but what can i do and you have the amount of diamonds in each color i mean by colors so there is a lot of this color, 152, I think it's a pinkish color. Yeah, it's something in his body around here. So a lot of them are pink and like, you know, well, the skin of the baby uh, because he's basically, well, he is the main subject over here. <laughs> There's actually his toy over there as well, <laughs> but it's funny. Um, yeah, so this is what we have, like I said, 44 colors. And I think that it will look amazing. I'm hoping. Now, what was inside? I'm sorry. This are this is from the box. I need to clean his table after I finish before he wakes up and make makes me pay for that. So, on here it says the I think it's the number of the design, uh, 80 over 100 centimeters. Um, and here is the picture it's kind of you cannot see it very well there it is you also have the key on the you know on the fabric on the canvas I guess it's a canvas and it's closed with these little bend, bend gates <laughs> and if we open just a little piece I don't want to open the whole thing the glue um, I'm hoping that the whole thing is pretty good uh, quality i'm trusting that it is because i know the company that makes them so these are the squares of the colors and i cannot wait to start and glue in the first diamond so <laughs> that's something that i cannot wait to do and it seems like the quality of the glue is pretty good so i'm hoping it will be very very good now let's move on to what was inside as well um this is something that was inside basically i'm not going to use this maybe i'll use this eventually it, though i have one of those like in a larger size but i don't know i always is good to have more uh i'll keep this one the glue that you use for the pen i am not using these pens because i have beautiful ones that i am using and the twizzers well i definitely will keep them as well but I will not be using that because I have better tweezers in my stash. So yeah, what I'm going to use out of this is the glue and the little tray. But I'm not sure about the tray because I already have a tray that I like using. So it's basically the same thing. Look what my cat did on this table. Oh gosh. So I'm going to have to clean it. Okay. Um, <laughs> again um yeah so i have a better tray that i can use basically the same tray but larger okay now uh the colors sorry for the 
Um, I don't think that I'll be taking all of them out. Maybe when I organize them into the jars, I will show you the colors. But they are in these little packs. And there's a lot of them. So, so many of them. Look at this. A lot of them. <laughs> So these are the basically the colors, that, I think these are the darker colors, though this is a pink. Uh, but I have another bag with these. And these are the skin colors. I'm thinking that it will look beautiful, really. I like the colors, I think that the skin colors will be perfect. Because there are beigey pinks in there, and my baby's color is beigey pink. <laughs> so that's the way the colors look I think the quality is very very good uh, I don't see glued ones like the ones that are glued together and I think that it will be perfect now what I'm going to do after this I'm going to organize the whole process and then start gluing the first uh, diamonds before I do that before I start gluing them in, I will definitely update you and show you my organization for the diamonds because I haven't made up my mind how I want them to be organized yet. So that's something that I am planning on doing. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. And sorry for the beautiful couple, the romantic couple, which I really wanted to start for a long, long time. But I just didn't <laughs> because I decided that I wanted to, uh, you know, I just wanted to start this one because this is more important to me than the couple and I really want to do something that is related to my beautiful baby boy. Okay, so let's go on. Uh, you will be probably seeing this in a couple of seconds and for me, I guess it will be like a day or two or three. So uh, I'm not sure when, but during this week I'll definitely get to it because right now I'm stitching one of my uh, roulette uh, you know projects so yeah the only thing that I'm thinking about maybe I'll take this out of the roulette and I will be doing this whenever I want because I don't want to feel like I have to do it in a certain amount of it I'm sure that I will want to do it as much as I can because I will definitely want to finish it as soon as I want as soon as I can so I think that this project the diamond painting will be taken out of the whole uh, roulette game and just put aside as a side project i will be getting to it whenever i feel like it maybe at evenings maybe after baby goes to bed we'll see um i'm still figuring out when i'm where i'm going to put it uh and where i'm going to be uh you know doing this whole thing because i need a separate table for this i'm not really sure yet but we'll see, we'll see. I'm going to decide that after I finish filming. Alright, so let's start uh, this beautiful project. Um, now, I've already organized all my beads and I decided to use my beading solutions organizer, one of them. This is the one that I, one of the two that I was using for my uh, diamond head once when I was doing that before my uh, Rottweiler destroyed it. Uh, yeah, that happened. Um, I think I was showing him, I mean, not my dog, but my, uh, you know, beating Hayed um, in my first videos. But that's not the issue right now. I decided to use this organizer for this project just because it's so comfortable. Now, if you ask me where I bought it, I don't really remember. I think that I ordered them on Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. But these are the most comfortable thing to use for beading. Now, for beading, for diamond painting, uh, they are amazing. I'm going to try and pull them like flip them around now this is the company that makes them beading solutions uh and really guys if you never try this do try this i mean these are amazing they are really good quality they close you know the little containers close really really well so this is what i have i have 
have my glass of water. Um, I have 44 colors in this and I try to organize it by, you know, type of container because I have smaller ones and larger ones, but still I have so many beads left, uh, like on the side that I will be, you know, refilling in the future. But for now, this is what I have. I think that it's really comfortable. Now, let me show you the tools before I open it. Now, this is the tool. This is the tweezers that I'm going to use. I usually use them for, uh, you know, like fixing a trouble one like a troubled bead uh, and these are really sharp these are really comfortable for like picking up a small bead and you know being really precise precise with that and they are really strong so loving that these are from aliexpress and also this is the tool that i'm going to use this beautiful oh this beautiful pen uh i am in love with this I actually have more like two more of these at my mom's house uh, but a little bit different types so this is my absolute favorite pen it is you know like a normal round tip but it is so beautiful and it's so comfortable to hold it's like a normal pen size now opening this uh, let's open this container it opens like this the top comes off oh my gosh and here we go. This is the project. I showed it to you in the last clip. Oh, it's really windy here. So uh, our beads are right over here. Now, I was having a little bit of a trouble uh, taking out the stickers that were on these before. And I decided to just put a sticker on top of it. So hopefully you cannot see the symbols that are in, on the bottom. But like over here you can see like a little circle there are symbols under these stickers because these were drawn by hand i actually drew every symbol by hand and glued them in uh, and under that are, are printed symbols so they're a little you know more colorful <laughs> but uh i think that it looks great uh, i am losing losing i am using these symbols to you know navigate across my diamond painting so that's really really comfortable now if we take like one container one i don't want a full one but like number five this is the container this is the size of it like with my hand i could have used a smaller one but i ran out of those so i just kept it in the larger one this is the all the beads the green beads that are supposed to be in this project but there are not a lot of green stuff in this project so uh, i think it's somewhere around um these like over here maybe a little bit over here so just some um stuff on the baby play mat uh, again i'm sorry for my nails so i don't have time to do them now I, it's a little difficult to open but they do open and close really tightly so it's really comfortable just pour out a little bit and keep using it oh right here can you see the air up that's the sticker be like below this one the new one but it's not really noticeable when i look at it like in the container now these all of the colors look at this bright one i think that is the background on top like over here oh i am dying to start this i really really want to i'm going to do that right now because uh, marky is asleep for now and i have some time between my cross stitches and all my house chores are finished so and we're just going to have fun with it as much as I want. Alright, so I'm going to start. Uh, there's my project. It's still rolled in. I haven't started it. And once I do my first couple of, you know, diamonds, maybe tonight I will film a review and show you what I've been doing. So, yeah. Uh, let's start this. So exciting. Look at this little guy. How can you not make a diamond painting out of him he is so cute he's little toy boy hey marky say hello hello what are you doing what are you doing 
<laughs> Are you playing? He's such a sweetie. We woke up this morning. We had a little playtime. Then we went back to sleep. And we had our breakfast before everything. So, yes. Say hello. Hi. Hi. Oh gosh. So much. You're so cute. My little blue eyed baby boy. Hey, baby. What are you doing? There was a time where our doctor was really mad at us because he could not keep his head up. Uh, he had a little bit of a trouble with that um, because she said uh, because of his size I mean he's not fat but he is heavy so um, for his uh, weight body weight he had trouble keeping his head up so now um, um, I was basically I was trying to get, get him on his tummy to give him some tummy time so he will learn yes so he'll learn how to um you know pick his head up <laughs> but then he learned how to turn over and he is now turning over to his belly all the time and i cannot get him to turn back on his back so yeah we are really naughty and we are not playing and we are smiling. Hey, give us a smile. Can you give us a smile? Hey, you're smiling. Okay, so looking at this little face, I know that I might, might be biased because he's mine, <laughs> but I cannot, I cannot not make a diamond painting out of him. And this is perfect i mean g girls <laughs> if you have babies get them these little toys these piano uh university so he will be playing with that i don't know what i'm trying to say i'm kind of lying down on his play mat um yeah so that's what we're doing and let's get back to our diamond painting because I can look at his little face all the time. Yes? Alrighty, guys. So this is the end of the week. Uh, it's actually, I think it's Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, Friday. Is it Wednesday? Um, anyways, today is the last week that I'm going to do this diamond painting because tomorrow I'm going to my mom's house. So I have spent a couple of days to this week doing this and this is how much I have done I think it's a lot like considering like look at my hand I know my nails look terrible but sorry I have a little baby and I have too much to do and I do want to do some diamond painting and stitching as well so tomorrow at my mom's house I'll do my nails sorry but um anyways this is what I have finished I think it's quite a lot considering that I've been only doing this for a couple of days plus I do have my roulette uh, as well so this is a good progress I am so happy with the colors of the skin I was afraid that the skin will be really really bad because you know they always do some random colors that are in phase I actually had a diamond painting with two people like with a couple that had green in their face so that was weird but this project has a lot of pinks beigey pinks and uh, exactly the colors that the skin of the baby is supposed to be so hopefully it will go as well like the for the rest of this project because just because uh, I well, there's a lot of forehead in this. <laughs> Can you see? Um, I think that you already saw the baby. He is not bald. He has hair, a little hair, like, like, well, enough hair, but he is not like a full head of hair. So he's kind of bald-ish. <laughs> Plus, he's a little blondy. So, um, yeah, it looks like he's bald in this, especially. He's not really bald, but you cannot see his head his hair especially because of the you know position of his 
little face but i love this picture so i decided to do this and that's fine even if it has a big forehead it's still beautiful to me so <laughs> i'm sure that this will be a really cute diamond painting eventually it will be really really big it will be really really big but what can i do i mean i chose this size because i wanted him to be really you know really good looking <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I'll be finishing this video now. I hope that you like this. Um, maybe you want me to do like diamond vid diamond painting videos, um, but like by themselves, not not include like cross stitch in them, or do you prefer them to be the together because they are the same type of you know craft? Well, they're not the same type of craft, but they are the same like. Of craft <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say I just hear my baby make noises in the living room so I'm listening to him and I forget what I want to say so yeah I'm going to finish this I'm going to go because I need to give him his bath and he needs to go to bed soon and yeah I will be going to my mom's house tomorrow hoping that it will be <sighs> It will be relaxing to me and I'll be able to get some sleep in the morning at least because she usually takes him away from me in the morning when she is with me so I can sleep in and that's so great. <laughs> okay, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope that this was interesting for you to see uh, the beginning of my diamond portrait and I will see you in my next video. By the way, subscribe, don't forget to press the bell below to be, to be notified when my videos come out. And you guys, so many people are watching my channel without being subscribed, like 40 something percent. So you guys, please subscribe, be my friend, and you will be supporting my channel with that. And plus, you'll be able to watch my videos whenever you want. So thank you, don't forget to subscribe, I love you, and I'll see you next.